Hello. <laughs> Whoops. Then he used to wake me. <laughs> Sounds like my grandma then. Ooh. Hello. It is, is it Friday morning? Yes, Friday the February the 24th, 25th, 25th. Yes, it's the 25th. So, um, I'm just, um, I don't know if you've seen in my studio tour, I've got two of these big plan chairs. They're like from, one was from where I used to work. Um, at BT we used to put all the maps in. So I used to work for British Telecom. <laughs> and um, we used to put the mat there. And I got one when we went when the building was being demolished and everything went. And I took my drawing board, my chair. I took all my like workstation home with me. It was quite cool actually. I still got the plan chest. And then I got another plan chest from my stepdad, <laughs> which was good. Um, from their planning drawing office place where um, he used to work. He works for what used to be Link Miles Assimilation Company. So I got their one as well. So I've got two. And um, one I keep, I mean, I, I, sorry, I'm got you on a stand at the moment. I, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> if you see my tour, you know. One that is over there and the guinea pig's on top of. Um, that's for my Mitzi work on um, paper. And the other one, every time I do a watercolor, I stick it in the drawer. And the drawers have got really full up, so. I, th I know I've listed a few on Etsy and I just wanted to go through them and um, I need to photograph my watercolours and actually put them up for sale because they do no one any good just sitting in a drawer not being looked at so um, I thought I'd do that and I've got many so this may take a long time. <laughs> okay this is the plan chest and the th I know the top drawer, two drawers have got like my jewellery supplies in so that's just sort of staying like that and then this one has also got um jewellery supplies my enamel and stuff and then that's full full of watercolours this one's fairly full of watercolours and I know some of them are, are ones that I can't sell because they can tend to be so I them. This is full of um, mounts and mount board. Oh, I think the bottom one is as well. And pictures from I oh, know that's that's one of my that's one of my uh, garden stuff. Oh there's some watercolours in there. Some really old ones. If you've seen that. Okay, so in there is old stuff and my open garden signs. My God, which I'm opening again. <laughs> right, let's just go through these two. Can you see? Is that a good position? I might just go through them. <laughs> I need to sort them out into piles because, sorry, you can't see me because, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, um, let's just put this up a minute. I need to um, go through them because uh, some, I know I've listed a few on Etsy. And I need to put that into piles that have like sold. So I've been hanging upside down. Pop them away. And um, so I need to sort them out and just go through them really. Um, I might just get them out because it's a funny angle down there. So I'll get them out and put them on top of my best painting ever that I'm doing. With you and go through them like that. Okay, I've got you looking over my shoulder. So this might work. This is my best painting ever. <laughs> underneath here so I'll just pull things out and I'll put them into piles of ones I'm going to sell rubbish ones ones I can't sell and also um really crap ones but these are uh, can't sell that that is going to go in a pile to paint over um this I think is on Etsy if it's not on this is shit. Um, that's a landscape. So I need to check that one. I think that one is on it. I've got a spare piece of paper, which is good. This is a weird fox I tried to paint and I really don't like it. But I don't know, it looks strange. <laughs> I might put that on it, see? Um, these, I can't sell these because um, they're. <laughs> I did a whole range of these for nursery 
the bones. You can't sell that. Get this one. That one? It's a nice, nice bird. I think that's one actually. I'm just going to put them all in a pile and I'll go to them and there's some poppies. And if you'd like one, they're all going to be on Etsy. The ones that go into this pile here. It's that one, you've probably seen that one quite a lot. Some um, Japanese anemones. And some daisies. Some hollyhocks. Some foxgloves. Okay, abstracting floor. There's two similar colours. Nice little rosy floor. Let's go to see the painting. A beach sea scene. Remember, I did that really quick. I think that I did that on the YouTube video. This one, which is really nice. Put that one on that one. Does go up that way. <laughs> it's a um, just an abstract landscape. And here's some more abstract landscapes. I think some of these are on Etsy, I'm not sure. But I will be putting them on. I'll try to go through this quite quickly because um, it's, I've got hundreds. So maybe I'll just speed this up. And yeah, I'll probably have to speed this up. I'll speed this up now so you don't bore you to death talking about everyone. But uh, yeah, it's nice going through them. Feel like a piece of Video 1, February 27th, 2022. This intends to be out before and after storm summer. Sunshine today, lovely clear blue sky. Oh dear, never mind. It's all sorted throughout the year. The idea of this is for us to keep a, a log of whatever 
tube and that oil dumped throughout the year. So oh, it was a bloody robber, oh it's mixed. So we're just uh, tidying up. Cracking job there, keep going. It's a very frosty, frosty, frosty day. Everywhere's like frosty. <laughs> frosty, frosty. Cyril saying, Cyril saying good morning to everyone. I think he might have found a cat actually. He likes chasing cats. Yeah, I did a bit of. Oh, we did this. Okay, we cut down all the. Um, Bed stuff. Now it's in piles. <laughs> Bed singing this morning. It's supposed to be a nice day. It's supposed to be. Oh, good morning. Welcome to the studio mess. Um, I've had three days off. Well, two days. Two days off? Yeah, painting. I'm itching to get back painting. I sort of left this. This is my pile of... Oh, sorry, I'm... <coughs> Just been in the garden. Um, This is my pile of um, watercolours. I'm going to take photos, go sort through and take photos of the ones I want to list on Etsy to sell so there'll be some work available on my Etsy there'll be a link down below somewhere yeah so yeah, I'll put those ones up in a while uh, yeah this this is being used as a table at the moment <laughs> I often do that I just like I can't bear looking at it anymore and then just stop and that's how far those have come and the ones over there <coughs> So that's good. Oh, and I found this. I'll do it down. God knows where that's from, but I quite liked it. Okay, this is my big painting. It's like um, hanging up in my hallway at the minute um, because it takes me a little while before I feel comfortable with it. Um, I know it's finished. And then when I finished it, I think it's because I've been working on it for so long. And because um, this was started a couple of years ago, um, I get like too close to it, if you know what I mean. And then if I just hang it and glimpse at it now and then, because I, I don't know, it's really weird. When I finish painting, I usually hate it. I'm like, no, nope, really don't like it. So um, I usually either turn it the other way so I don't see it for a while. Or I hang it up somewhere and then just keep glimpsing it. And then I was like, yeah, actually, I really like it. And now this has turned into a painting that I really like. And um, 
and it's got a lot of meaning in it as well and it's called time to care and um let's just see some details i like this dog down here there's lots of dogs and cats and a flamingo for some reason that just sort of appeared <laughs> Quite like that little cat there coming in from the side, and there's flowers and people and things, and it's really, really textury. I don't know if you can get, can you see the texture, and it's quite big. It's um, a meter by a meter. I think I think I have to measure it properly. There we go. That's that one, and I'm going to put that up for sale on my website, but I probably won't be able to post it. Um, internationally because it's so big I have to take it off the um, bars and just send the um, canvas if I did and it still cost a lot of money and roll it in a tube but if anyone's willing to pay for it to be posted it'd probably be something like 80 quid or more or more much more probably because that's the last time I haven't sent a, a big painting abroad for ages anyway but that's that one and I've also got this one, which has gone through the same process. I started it ages and ages and ages ago, and I hated what was underneath it, and I've painted over the top, and I've forgotten what was underneath. But it wasn't very nice, anyway. <laughs> uh, this is a smaller canvas. It's 50 by 50 centimetres. It's on quite a thick, thick canvas, deep canvas, should I say. And, yeah, it's very, again, it's very textury because it's had painting on top of painting on top of painting and I think I'm finally happy with it it's called tiger fatigue I'll also put that up on my website I just like the little animals I didn't like it at first I don't know <laughs> it's just like, it's like I guess I don't know if anyone else has that I mean, where paintings just go through a stage where you absolutely hate them and I really struggle with it and then I sort of keep at it and finish it and then I'm like, yeah, actually, I like that. I like this little tiger's face, look. It's cute. Now, I've been through some of my works on paper, and I've got a few out, and I've just gone through and photographed them all, and I've, these are going to be up on my website, Michelle P. Was it? <laughs> they're going to be up on my website michellecrowell.com if you'd like to go and have a look so I've got this one, the most difficult damage to the contours of his face it was him doing all the staring not sure what this one's called it hasn't even got a date or anything on it but I'm um, um, it's probably like fat cat or something. It's got a hand instead of a tail, which is weird. <laughs> Polite cat. Always had very little to say. I don't know what all these are called. I still these are quite these three. Hang on, there's three. Another one on board are quite new ones that I've done. So there we are. Got these two little postcard cats. This is a new one. These are all ones that I think I did on YouTube. I'll try and find the video and probably link it below if I can find it. This is the one I did the other day, which I really like. I want to do a bigger one on canvas like that. And then I've got four Mitzi cats. The cats, skeleton cats that I'm going to put up, and these two that I did the other day. That one I did the other day, and these two little ones that I've done. Oh, which are like watercolors and pencil. So have a look out, and I've put those up. Smile, they can't even see me. <laughs> it's such a horrible, cold, dreary day out there. 
Ugh. That's the front of my house. <laughs> I like looking out the back, isn't they? So, oh my garden. Anyway, this is. Oh, sorry, I'm just falling over this stuff. <laughs> this is the state of the state. This is how far this has come. It's got darker. I'll be adding more to it. It's like a love hate relationship with it at the minute. That's still there. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I might try and finish that today. Uh, and those, I've got lots of paintings going on here. Oh, sorry, I've got stuff on the floors. <laughs> Sounds like my grandma then. Oh, <laughs> got these paintings. I got this painting on the floor. And that I did, I was just sorting through all my paints and I've got rid of things that are all like hard and horrible. So I sort I haven't really got many paints really. <laughs> well I have, I've got those there, the new stuff. Um well, I have, look, I've got loads of flipping paint. <laughs> um yeah, these are changed a bit, I don't know. I'm going to work on these a bit today, I think. Yeah, so they're all there, ready. Ready? Yeah, and it's just horrible, horrible weather. These are sort of in progress. <laughs> so I've got lots happening and um, yeah. Mm. Good morning. Um, I'm just getting ready to, it's my granddaughter's third birthday tomorrow, so um, I'm off to Sussex and I'm staying like for nine days and I'm just going by myself, which is going to be really good. And I decided I wanted to take um, my art stuff with me, painting equipment so I can paint whilst I'm down there because... I always take a few little bits of me, but I never do anything. But because I'm down there longer and by myself, um, I'm hoping I can get some work done. So that would be cool. So I've, I've had a bit of a dilemma where I didn't know like what to take. I don't want to take too much. Uh, and I didn't want to take not enough. So it's, it's gone a bit. Let me show you what, <laughs> what I've decided on. Okay, dilemmas. <laughs> It's like trying to think what to take. Um, I've got what I use most of, or well, have been recently, uh, these uh, car paints, which are all around here, these things. I like to call them Ben Sherman's, but they're not. They're <laughs> Sher Sherwin-Williams paints, which I really like using. But I have bought some new paints recently. I don't use my spray paints much anymore, so I don't need to take them. This is my painting so far. That's going to stay there. I'm not going to take that with me. I don't think it'll fit in the car. Um, yeah, and that's some other stuff. So, this is like normal acrylics. Those two things are just those cheapy, crafty acrylics. But that's my other acrylics in there. Let me show you. I sorted out all these the other day with my like heavy body acrylics in there, and it looks really tidy. And I went through the ones that were all dried up and crap, so I sorted that out. And then they're my new paints. And then I've got some acrylic inks, and there's more Ben Sherman's. Sherman Williams, I don't know why I call them Ben Sherman, so it's a weird thing. Um, I like making up names for things. Uh, there, there, there's tempura sticks, I've got some inks in the, and these, but I'm not taking any of those. I've managed to fit everything, including my watercolours, into this one, like, box. And I've got my, because I'm going to film, like, I want to do my um, live painting. And film a few things so let me sort of show you what was. that's my ipad but it's not in there i've got my camera camera and equipment recording equipment i'm not going to take it all out because um that would be just silly i'm going to turn it off it's can't turn it on go away <laughs> right i've got some liquid text they're my new ones the soft body paint. I've got my golden acrylics. There's little tubes. Oh, 
and I've got the liquid um, Liquitex um, gouache, which I quite like using in my sketchbook. And I've got those tempura sticks. Underneath, I've got my watercolour palette. That's all I'm taking is my palette. I've got I've got some pencil crayons, some transparent gesso. That's from my um. I like using that in my sketchbook. I've got brushes, a tube of brushes there. Look at my black finger. <laughs> Trapped it in the back door. And then I've got some tape. Some tape and a little bit thing to mix some colours. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's that. That's, that's what and I've got. Oh, I've got some pencils underneath. Some And some Neo colours, pastels. And then I've just got all my paper in this portfolio thing so yeah so I've got my watercolour paper and my sketchbooks in there so I think I did quite well <laughs> just to be seen isn't it anyway I'm off to Sussex and hopefully the weather is better than up here and I'm going to have a beautiful time and have a happy birthday and see all my family and um yeah, so I'll see you on the other side. Bye.